Meanwhile, extreme heat is responsible for more weather-related deaths in the U.S. than any other hazard. Meteorologist Stacey Ann Gooden joins us live from Coney Island with more on how folks are staying cool and has important tips to keep in mind. Hi, Stacey Ann. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Erin. Let me tell you, we got cast of characters out here. I met some friends earlier. A lot of them, they're just enjoying this hot weather. And then, you know, you have some folks that it's like for them, it's a little bit unbearable. But, you know, with all this summer fun, you just got to remember that there are some heat related concerns. It's really vital that we take those important precautions to stay safe during this heat. Take a listen. It's another hot one. Clouds did little to prevent temperatures from soaring into the 90s at some locations, but sure didn't feel like it. The intense heat has attracted people here at Coney Island for some much needed relief. I just like the cold water. There is a breeze at the beach, so that cools you off a little bit, and that cools you off also. Black, we're beautiful. The sun is out. We had a great time being out here. Listen, it's lit. It's Friday. It's a fabulous day. Go out, be great today. Rock it out. We um, came here in, uh, in New York to find a cooler place, but uh, we actually, uh, it, it's, it's not uh, that uh, cool. It's too much for me. Why? You're from Jamaica. What are you saying? Come on, oh, for, from the island, like you tell us, I told you, for instance, you don't know what time it is already. <laughs> yeah, the humidity. Oh, it's too much for weed. When it comes to weather related fatalities, heat claims a top spot. The National Weather Service reported 190 heat related fatalities last year, with an average of 158 heat related deaths over a 30 year period. One major factor is the urban heat island effect. While the suburbs and rural areas tend to be cooler due to more green space, urban areas could get over 20 degrees hotter. Why? Heat is emitted from cars, buildings, and factories. Asphalt and dark rooftops also retain heat. Another reason is how little it may cool down at night, especially in the city. Heat is absorbed more quickly at the surface during the day and released slowly back into the atmosphere at night. It's typical for overnight temperatures to only dip into the upper 70s and low 80s in the city. Some may not have air conditioning or can't open windows for safety reasons. This may make it harder for the body to cool down at night, which poses a major health hazard. Now your body's in such a stressed out mode that your body starts to prioritize you know, the most important organs. It starts closing off the blood vessels in your fingertips, in your nose, like, you know, all that we call the peripheral circulatory system. At high temperatures, people think in a slower pace. So their focus is off, their concentration is off, their problem solving is off, and they don't make the best decisions. You know, and it's times like this that we really have to be careful to know the signs when it comes to heat exhaustion and heat stroke. If you're suffering from heat exhaustion, you may feel faint, dizzy, excessive sweating. You may have those muscle cramps. It just, it's just so unbearable. Heat stroke, you got no sweating. You know, there's no evaporative cooling taking place. Your body doesn't have time to cool off. There's that throbbing headache, hot, dry skin, loss of consciousness. You know, when you're facing any of these types of situations here, it's important to seek medical attention, drink plenty of water. Now we're looking right now live here at Coney Island and let me tell you these folks are just out here doing it. Okay, they got no shirts and they are just, you know, just having a great time taking a dip in the water, drinking plenty of fluids. I'm seeing some little kids here too. Uh, some of them, they even have like these little uh, boards for swimming and some even got umbrellas, which is also a good sign to like just stay shaded and limit the exposure to the sun. That's all important. So another thing to be aware of, you know, I spoke with Robertson clear. He's a regional director for AAA Northeast and he says now is an important time. Although we're concerned all year round about hot car deaths, the summer it's really, really intense. Leave something familiar in the back seat. So to avoid leaving your child or your pet in the car, I'm talking like something as simple as a cell phone or a wallet. When you know you have something in the back seat that you never forget, it can save a life. We are live here at Coney Island. I'm meteorologist Stacey N. Gooden, Pix 11 News, 